Uh, Pete Wentz is here, and uh, as we announced earlier this morning, Fallout Boy, that's the band you're in. Yes. <laughs> uh, they're going to be headlining the 2023 iHeartRadio Music Festival in Vegas. Sweet. Nice. September 22nd and 23rd at T-Mobile Arena. Tickets are going on sale next Friday, June 16th at access.com. Hey, before I go any further, happy yeah. birthday, by the way. Thank you. Yeah, happy yeah. birthday. Thank you guys. Yeah, how old are Thank you now? You. I am now 44. 44. It's hard for me to remember so my age. Young. I'm at that age. I know. I you was, know? I was having that argument with my wife uh, just the other day. She's like, how do you not remember? I'm like, because it's easy. I think when you get to a certain point of the year, you already start like you you start identifying as, in your case, 44. Yeah. And so when your actual birthday hits, you have to remember, wait, Hasn't am, I, happened. Yeah. am I turning 44? <laughs> yeah. Or am I going to be 45? I'm already 44 and, and, and 45. And mine's weird because it coincides with the year half the year, you know? So like in 2024, yeah. I'll be the year, you know, um, like four and four, you know? Right. So like, I'm always like, which age am I? <laughs> yeah. Am I like, <laughs> yeah. you know? Math. Yeah. 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 And yeah. So you don't have to, uh, you don't have to use any kind of like uh, diet. I mean, you obviously for the blonde on the, on the hair, but you're not using like any kind of like. Uh, no, I don't really on... have like, I get a little salt and pepper in my beard and yeah. sometimes and i get maybe a little in my sideburns but yeah. that's it so far Lucky. but i will be i'm you know i have a i have a 14 year old i'm sure it'll yeah. be you know Bruh. more <laughs> appearing you know yeah. <laughs> Bruh, dad's so cringe <laughs> totally that's how my son talks he's 13 yeah. but uh, yeah so anyway the uh the iheart radio music festival which is awesome uh have you guys played that before i don't i don't remember there's been so many at this we point played um once in like 2013 okay. So you know how awesome it is. I mean, the production yeah, and so the whole thing is, is I bands. rode. I think I rode a. Maybe we. Yeah, I rode a a raft while Steve Aoki played. All right. there. Nice. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I, so yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware yeah, of how pretty cool. How insane I mean, it is. Yeah, yeah, just the whole production. Bands always talk about like how great the sound is. And yeah. Everything. So the, the bands love playing. The fans like, love being there. Like it's you always really cool point thing. out, it's just such a good production. Yeah. I've always wondered, like, when you're in a band and you're famous, like you are. And then you run into another <laughs> band that's famous, like they are, but you've never met them in person. Do you guys just go like, "Oh, hey, what's up?" Or is it kind of like, "Oh, it's nice to meet you." Like, yeah, do you act starstruck? like you know each other? Yeah. I think that there's an interesting thing, right? Like, so, okay, so that's a good one, because like, there is like a, I think, of like a Prius, you know, the Prius drivers like honk at each other, or whatever. Yeah, yeah. There is yeah. A, like yeah, a general drivers, acknowledgement or something. Okay. Yeah. But there's a funny thing. So like, I, well, and I don't really know. So like, if you're not super aware, I guess that. Over the holiday season, over whatever, lots of times there's these, you know, jingle balls and all these shows, right? right? And so, like, we'll be, like, you know, and you play, like, eight of them or whatever, right? right? So, we'll be, like, have a dressing room next to the new kid pop star yeah, or right. new pop star or whatever. Yeah, right. And we'll get to know each other intimately for eight days and then sure. be, like... I will never see, see you again. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. we're like, but Bad I know everything friends. about yeah. you until, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? For like yeah. eight days, yeah. we know everything about each other. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. Yeah. I've yeah. always wondered that. Well, so besides the uh, iHeartRadio. But Radio, then I think there's some people, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you No, off. you're good. But then there's some people that like, you know, like where you're like, like, how about this? Okay, so I was at, uh, I went to the Stella, Stella McCartney fashion thing here or whatever. Mm -hmm. Right. And I was like, I need to find an exit very quickly. Mm -hmm. Like, and it, so I took this, route that was like way because i was like i'm not saying bye to anybody so yeah, i like, yeah. took this route the Houdini, that was yeah. really yeah, that's my move and yeah. uh <laughs> while i was mid this route for like about two minutes i was in like a per human traffic jam yeah and i'm like right i'm this far away from paul mccartney right oh my god um, you know whatever yeah. like we're right here and i'm like 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 what do you say like you, could never right. say, <laughs> you couldn't say anything that this guy has never heard yeah. doesn't want to hear yeah. like yeah. my favorite like you know, i did blah, blah, blah. so i just yeah. stood so i just stood there and then we moved along, and, and my girl Megan, she was like, uh, she was like, that was so cool that you didn't say anything. Uh, and I'm like, yeah, it was so cool. Yeah. Now I don't like have anything to regret or any like weird, you yeah. know, like or whatever. But like, yeah. that was so rad that you said there, nothing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there, there's a, I think there's like a high school level of like, if you're if like Fall Out Boy is like the freshman, like he's you know, oh, yeah. you know what right. I mean? Like you'll just yeah. never like yeah. that guy doesn't care or not. Maybe he'd be nice, I'm sure. But like you know what I mean? Like there's a certain level where like. The Prius doesn't get to honk at the other Prius. <laughs> <laughs> For real. That makes sense. Yeah, it's like a whole... That, Sorry, he's in his own right. category. Yeah. He's, a, he's a beetle, for Christ's sake, yeah. you know? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. I feel like there's those... Because I'm not I'm not big on celebrities in general. Like, yeah. I'm not I'm not impressed by celebrity. Right. If, Although he will knock people down to get his photo taken with him. Yeah, no. Yeah, true. Yeah. No, there, there yeah. are certain... If you like him. For the there, gram, like yeah. I said, there are certain people <laughs> who I have a lot of respect for. Yeah. Or, okay, so this happened recently. Uh, we were at a movie premiere... 
And as we were walking in, I happened to be like uh, just a couple feet away uh, from uh, Leah Thompson, who, oh, yeah. Back to the Future, that's my yeah. number one movie of all time. My yeah. wife's like, are you not going to go say hi? And I thought about it, and I'm like, I, I got to. This is my favorite movie. Yeah, yeah. Like if the Beatles were your absolute, what's your favorite band? Of maybe all like time. Metallica, maybe. Metallica. James Hetfield yeah. standing there. You've yeah. never met him, yeah. and you're within a couple arms lengths of him. You're not going to go out. You have to, right? You have yeah, yeah. to. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you have to. So I that, also get in that like case, a little yes. worried because you can have like the really bad experience, which like can sour you on the yes, whole thing. Absolutely. So you just have to be like, you yeah. know, you just have to play it a little careful. Yeah. 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 Has everybody been like that? Like you've just been like disappointed? And not necessarily even like their fault. It's just like you had an, I think because people get uh, an expectation of how. Mm -hmm. Oh my God! They're they're this that they're the other, and then you meet them, and they're not unfriendly. It just it didn't. It's not. Yeah, it wasn't I, what I had one that was what that was that was to me is just like kind of like funny, but like it wasn't a bad experience. Uh, like uh, when it was me and my my oldest son, and he was like three or four, I think, and we were at a restaurant, and in, there was a bathroom, and it was like a single bathroom that was like so small you literally could only yeah. you know. Fit one person, like literally single one yeah. adult person. Uh, it's like an yeah. airplane bathroom. Or something. So, um, he he went to the bathroom, and then I was like, stand right outside the door, yeah. you know, or whatever. And earlier, I'd I'd seen Elvis Costello. <laughs> oh and, yeah. Uh, oh wow. So then, while I'm using the bathroom, he sits I hear to pee, my right. You think? I, I, while I'm using my bathroom, <laughs> he's got to sit to pee. While I'm using my bathroom, <laughs> I think the, you probably, bathroom, you, you I hear through the door my three year old, four year old, being like. I just peed all over the back floor. <laughs> I was like, oh, I walk out. Of uh, <laughs> I was like, I am not even gonna meet him. I'm not even gonna meet him. You know what I mean? I was like, let's just yeah. be in, remain anonymous. <laughs> well, uh, Pete Wentz from Fall Out Boy is here. They're playing the iHeart Radio. Not even playing. They're headlining the Headline. iHeart Radio Music Festival in Vegas. Come September 22nd, 23rd. Plus, uh, they've got their own tour. So much for the Tour Dust Tour, which is on. Uh, June 21st, that starts in your hometown yeah. of Chicago, Wrigley Field, and uh, that, that's got to be that's got to be cool. Who are you going out with? You're going out with uh, I know Alkaline Trio. So yeah, like so, we're playing a couple stadiums, and so Bring like, Me the Horizon, yeah, Bring Me the Horizons, out uh, Rolling the Serpent, uh, uh, Alkaline Trio, Newfound Glory. I mean, are you guys the ones who pick mm -hmm. who goes? I've always wondered that. Like, who gets to pick who goes out on tours? It kind of like a Lots of times you'll get like collaborative effort between like management and labels. Yeah, I think that it's kind of collaborative. Like you know, you can, um, you know, like I don't know bands like ticket counts and stuff like that, but right. like, oh, yeah. uh, like you know, like lots of times we'll be offered a list of you know potentials, or there's bands you'll like reach out and you'll be like, we really want to tour with this band or whatever. But like, yeah, it's collaborative, you know. Yeah. So last month they introduced it's called Crinal. Because vinyl's so big, I you know literally yeah. didn't know how to say that. Crinal, like, is it crinal? Yeah, because it's vinyl, right? Right, but the records are filled with real tears from the band. Mm -hmm. What's the harvesting process? Whoa, I mean, I yeah. heard about this. I'm like, how do you collect is this, that? Is this <laughs> real? I know it's called crinal, but is it real? It's in yeah. I mean, uh, act, like the, tears. And what were the tears? Are they just like? Uh, well, there's a couple ways to you guys get make the each tears, other cry. Right? Or yeah, like, you can yeah. you can make yourself cry. Kick each other the nuts. Mm -hmm. or the, there's uh -huh. there's a there's a menthol stick that is used by actors that kind of looks like lipstick, but it just uh -huh. bakes, basically makes you tear up. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so Real. and so then what happened? Like you had like some assistant there. Who's uh, collecting. I actually collected. Uh, some myself, and then there was a guy who showed me how to do it. Who okay. uh, was like <laughs> the so techni funny. technician, you know? Just do yeah. a jar or no. what? Uh, they little, go no, they go in like a little um a little vial kind of thing, right? Uh, pipette. A, a pipette. A pipette. Yeah, it's very scientific. Scientific. Yeah. I don't even know what that is. Yeah, yeah, it's you like do. A cylindrical yeah. glass. Yeah. Tube. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You know, glass a pipette. <laughs> like they would do if you're doing like a like a little blood prick test kind yes. of thing. Oh, okay. Yes. If, they, you, I, yeah. I, if you need tears, I could give you a ton. Oh, Greg wants to cry. He's but crying Pete, every day. Part two. Yeah. I read that. Like, oh, my totally. God. <laughs> we announced the iHeartRadio Music Festival this morning. Fall Out Boy is going to be headlining. A lot of great bands yeah. on the lineup this year. Uh, you can get all the information right now. If you go to iHeartRadio.com. Also, Alt987FM.com. Uh, tickets on sale Friday. Uh, uh, Access.com, June 16th. Friday, June 16th. AXS.com. Also, if you're a Capital One card holder, you can add a Capital One Access Pass. And when you're buying your pre-sale tickets, you can see Fallout Boy doing their sound check performance 
before the concert that awesome. night. And I've done this. I think last year was Avril Lavigne that I did this with, yeah. um, with Capital right. One. And it's cool because like the, the whole arena is empty, mm-hmm. right? I mean, you guys see this all the time, but it's cool for fans. Yeah. yeah and sure. so the band's up there. But and it's like a full production, right? Yeah. I mean, they do like, you know, five songs or whatever. Yeah. And then I'll go up there and I'll talk to you guys for, mm-hmm. uh, for a few minutes. But that's something cool that you could do that not everybody has access to. But if you have a Capital One card, you can, uh, you can go there. And uh, get more information about that. Yeah. I swear, man. Every yeah. time I see you, different hairstyle. Yeah, yeah. He yeah, changes yeah. it hairstyle. up. Are you, you know, are you making a statement with the uh, with the hair, or is it just like one of those things you're just trying, trying uh, new looks? Yeah, I mean, I guess I just like rotate through. I mean, it's been stuff. long for a while. Yeah, yeah, it's been long for a while. It was like super blonde, and then I've just kind of been phasing that out. I don't know. Yeah, I just see. Yeah, I you just, could do that. I know. Mixes it do up. whatever. You yeah. can be like uh, your own. Uh, Fortnite skin. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. You can just like have different vibes, I guess. Whatever you want. You, know? you ever see yourself going back to uh, short hair? Because the, the long hair, like I said, it's been here for a while. Yeah, um, mm. I think so. I think that there'll be a time, you know, like there's definitely like, uh, you know, mm-hmm. I, I feel like if I had a full head of gray hair, maybe uh, I would. Or I don't really know. Yeah, at yeah. some point I think I will do the, yeah. do the change back. But I think it might be the last yeah. hurrah. So like I feel like I'll just, Take it to the end, and then yeah, yeah. And Do you use go. a Dyson hair dryer so you can dry it quickly? I don't actually. I have up. I have a I have a I have a, the Dyson headphones, but I don't have a Dyson. You know the ones that I don't know. You gotta Wait, look it up on the yeah. internet. Like I yeah, have yeah, those, those. The headphones where you <laughs> yeah. get the the yeah. air purifier. They're, yeah, yeah. You look like oh, Iron, yeah, you look yeah, like yeah, Iron yeah, Man. I do not have a Dyson. <laughs> Uh, hair dryer. Yeah. I'm on. I'm in the market for one. I know. I swear, <laughs> I swear if Menace, it's free, I'm in the market. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm sure one can be free for you. Sure. Yeah. Menace had to buy one for his wife. That's I all because did. she was taking too long to dry her hair. Oh, and this thing was like oh, apparently that's something why that makes you're really deep fast. on this, dude. Oh, yeah, it has time. changed my life. It does. Do you do the? You have to do the blowout or no? No, I or don't. She does it. Yeah, yeah, she does it. Yeah. Well, that's hard to do. I just well, fund the hair dryer. Uh, you funded it. You had one of my favorite. MTV Cribs episodes. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> you, yeah, because yeah. you had one of my favorite cars, the Lamborghini. But then you also had uh, snow, like fake snow yeah, in your yeah. backyard. But like, if they did MTV Cribs today, what would your house be like today? Oh yeah, man! Now, now that uh, you're in your mid forties, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it's yeah. Like so, I mean, there's you know, my my youngest is uh, is my is the girl. Uh, so there, you remember there, her name? <laughs> so I remember. Her name. Yeah. yeah. What would her name be? Yeah. So, uh, you know, the girl. Uh, it's the. I, uh, well, I always feel like a little weird when you just go like you say the person's name and you just assume everybody knows who you're yeah. talking yeah. about. So right. yeah. So, so your my youngest, youngest marble, kid, your daughter. Uh, she, yeah. she. So so our house is like a little bit like a Barbie explosion. You yeah. know, like there's just a lot of sure. and 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 then she also of all my kids. Um, I, I kept all my toys from the 80s. So, like, I have Castle Grayskull and oh, like, all this sweet. stuff. That's cool. And she's like, of all my kids, the one who <laughs> wow. decided to play with them all. So, there's yeah. just like, you know, Barbie at Castle Grayskull and there's just like G.I. Joe's mixed yeah. with, you know, like, and I, I kind of love it because it, it's just like so creative looking and it yeah. reminds mm-hmm. me a lot of the 80s when it was just like all mixed together and you're yeah. like, uh-huh. there'd be crossover episodes or whatever. So, yeah, my house uh, is more like that. And we also, we, yeah, we have like a lot of animals as well. So, it gets like, you know, like, Dogs, cats, kind of animals, not more than that, but you know, yeah. like stuff gets all a little messy. I mean, this oh, yeah. in an ice way. That sounds really messy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives it's, me anxiety. Yeah. <laughs> well, so, well, so like, it's weird. It's like, uh, it's um, it's like big. It's like big messy, but not like little messy. So there's not yeah. like like okay. mucus right. and like yeah, you know yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> just like or clutter. dog hair or anything like. Right. They, they, they're all like pretty. Like uh, they don't like really shed. So like it's all like. The toys everywhere and like whatever, but, but like not, not gross mess. Yeah. yeah, you yeah. wouldn't yeah. walk in and be like, oh, yeah. really let this place I guess go. I'll just keep my shoes on. <laughs> Which is why Greg could never have kids. I'm the only I'm the only person on this show that has. Yeah, the kids. thought of doing something and, like baking with your kid. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, Forget doing a lot it. of stuff with kids because like they're slow. But I was reading something like you have to get them involved. You have to get them involved in doing like some of this chore True. stuff, like yeah. dishes. Like let them do it. Let them be slow. Let them, let them be yeah. half-assed about it. And then you end up, yes, you're going to end up doing it twice because you're going to have to go back. But you need to instill in them that they're doing stuff around the house. I, I I've smart. found that like if the if the kids cook, help cook the food, they're so much more likely to eat it. Uh, you know, like there's nothing like when you're like, you know, like I like I like the hardest stuff I make is like avocado toast or something like that. But like you <laughs> make it, and then the kids are just like, this is I don't want. Yeah, it. I'm not you know what I mean? This. Like this yeah. is not you know. This is yeah. a chicken. But when nuggets. they help, when they when they when they help, and then also like um, 
I guess the pandemic kind of showed me this. And this is if you don't have kids, you won't care and you'll think it's just kind of funny or whatever. But like hanging out with my my kids, like spending pure time with them, yeah. like is uh, is so rewarding. Like it does. It's made me like feel more fulfilled and happy. And you know what I mean? Like yeah. it's just like, are they listening right now? Is that why? Oh, shoot. <laughs> is that why you're Hopefully saying my that? therapist, my therapist. <laughs> yeah. I'm so happy to hear no, that. No, but like, honestly, like, it's just like, and I think it wouldn't have happened. Like I wouldn't have noticed it without the, the pandemic kind of forced it to happen. Yeah, you know of course. I mean? And then I was like, I like, I kind of like love this, you know? Yeah. yeah. So How, how's everything going with all the guys? I mean, you're the only guy here today, but uh, everybody's good. I know Joe's back. Joe's back. Awesome. That was yeah, a big yeah. thing. He's back. He's, he's played a couple things with us already, but, um, his official, I guess, return for like yeah. big, you know, shows that have our actual fans at it will be this yeah. summer, and then. Uh, so Joe is the guitarist for uh, for the band, and he stepped away just briefly. It's like a mental health break, right? Mm-hmm. Just kind of yeah, like yeah. recenter or whatever. Yep. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. I um, heard. Um. I heard a really interesting thing. Not to go all therapeutic on everybody, but I heard an interesting way of um, looking at things when you're someone who's in the public eye, and this is somebody I was talking to. It was one of those people. And I would imagine it's the same for uh, for guys like you in a, in a big high profile band like Fall Out Boy. Um, you know, you kind of get caught up in. Um, it's really easy to forget who you are as a person because you're Pete from Fall Out Boy, mm. right? As opposed to, and then you send they call it a representative. So like, oh. if you meet somebody new, like on a first date, that's not the real person that you're meeting on a first date or a job interview. That's the representative that you send totally. who's on their best behavior. And it's not till later where things the cracks start to appear or whatever. Uh-huh. And so people who are in the public eye, they have a really hard time sometimes separating or remembering who they are. And so it becomes this like mind up. It becomes this uh, this you know mental health thing uh-huh. where they have to kind of like step away from. And I'm not saying that's what Joe was going through, but I just heard this interesting thing re- recently. And I wanted to to that's bring it up. But yeah, like you have to kind of remember who you are, who got you to be in that place in the first place, and then you know then you can kind of maybe you know, go on from there. You can grow from there because you can, it's really easy to get caught up in the, the totally. character or the expectation of who fans think you are. Totally. Yeah, yeah. I think that's definitely true. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I, at this point, I mean, you've been you've been such a well-known band. You've been famous, even though you kind of scoffed at that when Greg said it earlier. You've been famous for, <laughs> for so yeah. long. I mean, is it, is it still, is it still like weird for you? Because you're, you're also, I mean, you're, you're, I would say like you are the most recognizable person. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, From the band. Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, you know the the upside is you could like go to kind of like whatever restaurant you want. You can get a table, whatever oh, restaurant sure. you want, or something yeah, like yeah. that. You know, yeah, like yeah. Delilah, the, yeah, got... or whatever. And then, <laughs> I mean, I guess the the you know, besides like you know, if you were talking like gossip websites or like paparazzi or something, the 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 only thing you really do is like when I go through the airport, I just like I meet people and they yeah. you know tell me you know whatever you know and like yeah so people are like coming up to you to be dicks yeah. like they're yeah. most time they're coming yeah. up to be nice yeah. totally so yeah. I always think about it in terms of like 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 my like my grandparents like worked like hard jobs and you know like, like it's not that aspect of it is not very difficult yeah. you know what I mean I think I mean, that do you, is, do you miss it all not being well known it's been so long yeah. that it's like hard to think about it a different those, life yeah in those terms but um. Yeah, I mean, I guess I miss the simplicity, but, like, that also goes with, like, childhood or whatever. Like, there's the simplicity where you're, like, my biggest problem is, like, I don't want, like, I don't want to do my homework yeah, over the yeah, weekend. Yeah. Or, you know what I mean? Like, it's yeah, just, like, it's yeah. nice when that's Things your, change. But at the time, I was, like, and I, I try to remember, remind my kids about this all the time. I'm, like... Like my 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 kid that's in preschool, she'll always be like, "It's so boring," and I'm like, hey, "You wait." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and you and they, they, they all are racing to get into the real world, and I'm like, yeah. "The real world kind of sucks." Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Enjoy them. yeah. And you can't hear it when you're a kid. No. Like your parents always told you that, yeah, and you're like, exactly. you, just, "You just you just couldn't hear it." No. All right, uh, a couple things. I'm gonna true or false. All sure. right, so you have said that you literally wouldn't be here if it weren't for Joe Biden. Yeah, I mean, my parents met, true, um, my parents met working on his senatorial campaign in the 70s, so yeah. So that's where they met? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, where, oh, that's, okay. where, that's where they met. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. So Joe Biden's not like your secret father. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, because well, a lot of these older guys are having kids now, you know, like uh, the Robert De Niro's hot. and the yeah. Al Pacino's and stuff, they're, they're <laughs> very, still pumping out kids. Very can't end. stop, won't stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, because like you're 44, so back in that time he would have been he what? Even Joe been, Biden would have been like 82 he, at that he point. Have, he would have been yeah that old. Yeah. You, know, uh, <laughs> uh, you have a secret Instagram account. Uh, a Finsta? I, you, I, I, I you do. I don't really use content. it though, honestly. 
as much as I should. I I have one like that, like my for my friends, and they can just like you know, it's like easier to like keep up with people's lives when you just are like ah, you're in the feed or whatever. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, heard, I forget to do it all the time though. Yeah, I didn't realize it was like something like that kind of personal. I thought it was like because uh, my understanding was you only allow sixty people. It's sixty people who are allowed to uh, to follow it. Oh. And then and then it's cut off at that. So maybe that part's not true. Maybe oh that's... yeah. All right. I no, thought it was like that, kind of like that... a speaking oh, like, like a secret club. Yeah, yeah no, no, no. no. Yeah. It's not like that. It's just oh, like okay. for my friends, but then I like gotcha. I, I, I always just there's nothing great on it cuz I yeah. forget to use it all the time. Yeah. And uh we have a debate on this uh show a lot. Like I grew up, I was born in 76, kid of the 80s, you know, and um you know, The Goonies is one of my favorite movies. What a great movie. Of all time. Back <laughs> awesome. to the Future is still number 1. Uh, Greg here didn't see the Goonies until he was an adult. Oh, I, like you a know? month ago. Yeah, Ravi thinks it's one of the worst movies she's ever seen, and she roots for the Fratellis. Yeah. yeah. Okay, but uh, <laughs> the Goonies, true or false, was the first movie that you ever saw in theaters without your parents. That's true. I went. And to it was life changing. Yeah, it's true. I went to a birthday party, uh, and it was the first movie that you know. It was like, yeah, it was just we, we were at the birthday party and we we saw it. Yeah, and that movie is definitely. Life changing, you know. Like, I've, have you ever seen the? Have you guys ever seen the trailer for that movie? Yes, the, mm-hmm. I'm, like the one where they like, where they're like, from the studio, from the mind that yeah, brought yeah. you, and yeah. it's yeah. just like, the old school, it's all spelled yeah. out like uh-huh. with Spielberg mm-hmm. movies and mm-hmm. uh, what's his name? And, and movie trailers were so different then, so yeah. different, you know. They're all voiceover, and mm-hmm. then also with Goonies, there's the big like. Uh, remember, I think one of the times they played it on TV, they included the octopus. Scene. Oh, the so the octopus version, scene. Yeah. It, exists yeah it's out there yeah. yeah there there was a vhs tape of that cut the octopus. So, yeah. you can so, see it now pretty easily so when you say life-changing like what was life-changing about the goonies for you was it the fact that it was like you know the first time you said that like a theater without your parents or was it something more about the movie the message the i think it was you know being in theater with uh, my parents but i just think that there's something uh you know and i guess it maybe exists on tv now but like there's just like can you imagine like pitching the goonies you know what i mean like it's just yeah. like a strange <laughs> like magical movie you know and you, you created all i mean or found all these actors like sean astin yeah. and um you, you know like Corey i just Stallman think and... yeah, yeah i just think it's like i don't know if they still could make a movie like that they i don't know like it, maybe someone is you know or whatever but it just there, there was something so magical about the adventure and the way yeah. they included music and the way they treated these kids as kids but they're also like have all these problems that they're thinking about about their parents you know like I, yeah, the thing i, I saw and i don't remember if you know if you remember saying this but you said it taught you that it's okay to be a loser hmm. oh i probably said that honestly. <laughs> sound, yeah. you know like when something you're you would when say. you're when you're a loser you're always trying to find ways <laughs> to <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> see yeah. we're all alike yeah. <laughs> see? See how it goes? uh well pete wentz everybody from right. fallout yeah. boy Dude, thank Thanks, you so man. much for uh for stopping by yeah, looking forward you, to seeing you at the iheart radio theater go see them on their tour as they make their way all across our fine land, uh, starting June 21st at Wrigley Field in Chicago, falloutboy.com. Anything else you'd like to mention before we let you go? No. Got anything else Thanks fun? Like us. give us yeah. some really juicy stuff that TMZ will write about or something? <laughs> <laughs> Just, yeah, give us like a top 10 list of people that you hate. Yeah, give us something, <laughs> give us something like, really juicy. <laughs> something good like yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> right. We're not that exciting. Like, yeah. I'm not yeah. that exciting. Anything like name, super name, embarrassing yeah. or incriminating about Patrick Stump uh, or anything? I don't have anything, I don't have anything about exciting about that. Like yeah. that. <laughs> it's uh, Pete Wentz, everybody. Right. Go see Fallout Boy. It is The Woody Show. Be right back.